Good morning. Welcome to Creative Corner. I'm Wendy here at Pepper Getting, City of Myrtle Beach. And today we're going to be making a butterfly garland using some items that you may already have at home. Egg carton, scissors, paint, and string. But before we get started, I just wanted to shed light to the fact that art can be very therapeutic. It, it makes me happy, quite honestly. It helps to relieve stress, either by making it myself or looking at pieces of artwork. So think about that in times like this. Maybe you're stuck at home. This will also be a great project for kids of all ages to help make you feel better. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I chose six very bright, happy colors because we're making butterflies. And when I think of butterflies, they're bright and brilliant colors. So I chose acrylic paints. They're very easy to work with and they dry super fast. So first thing I'm gonna do is get my paint palette ready. And remember, a little bit of paint goes a long way, so you don't need a whole lot. And anytime you're working with paint, it's always good to have on an old t-shirt, a smock, because art can be messy. And I have my water cup ready so that I can rinse my brush paintbrush. I chose one a little bit broader tip today and next I'm going to prepare the egg carton. This is one dozen empty egg carton. So first thing I want to do is cut off the excess. And then I'm going to cut out each individual section. So there are 12 sections and you'll want to make sure you have larger fairly sharp scissors so um, if you have a small ch child working on this project at home just keep that in mind. Maybe an adult can use the scissors to go ahead and get them cut out first. So once I'm done I'm going to end up with 12 separate compartments. And then next I'm going to cut a slit on the top and the bottom of the compartment. And then what happens is, once we get it painted and fanned out, it's going to resemble butterfly wings. So let's go ahead and get that done. Oh, and remove any eggshell that might be stuck on there. Most of my art projects are focused on landscapes anything, animals, plant life. I think it's just a great inspiration. Things of nature are quite, I find quite beautiful. The nice thing about this project too, it does take a little bit of time, but like I said, an adult can go ahead and prep a lot of this in advance and then let the kids get to the fun part. So I've got my egg carton compartments, all 12 cut with the slits. And then next, since I'm going ahead and using my scissors, I'm gonna go ahead and I chose uh, six brown pipe cleaners. Those are going to be used for the body of the butterfly and that will help attach it to the string to make the garland. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these in half so that I'll have a dozen. Now I'm ready to get started. 
So let's go ahead and get our paint palette close by. And I'm going to go ahead and just moisten the brush, the paint brush, and dab off the excess water here and start by making the first butterfly. So I don't have to be particular in which color. I just kind of, in my mind, pick two colors that kind of pair nicely together. So I'm going to make the first butterfly yellow and orange. So just going to take a little yellow paint and go around all the edges. the outer edges. And for this one, and so I'm not constantly rinsing and having to clean my brush, I'm just going to stick with all yellow for now. Whoops. So for the next one, maybe I'll put the yellow on the inside. Because remember, Butterflies are kind of like people and snowflakes, I think. All different species, all different colors. Maybe they're all not completely alike. And since I have a dozen butterflies, I'm going to go and I have six colors. I'm going to go ahead and make four of them with the yellow and orange color combination. And again, you don't have to be perfect with this. Just have fun with it. Matter of fact, the more precise you are, it doesn't seem to look quite as natural. So I have my yellow. Now I'm going to go ahead and clean the brush. Again, dab off the excess paint, get any yellow remaining off the brush, and I'm ready to move on to the orange. So I'll just go ahead and fill in with the orange. And already you can see how nicely this works. And if you have a white egg carton, I mean, really, it doesn't matter what color. I know some of them, the styrofoam ones are pink, blue, yellow. This one, the last time I made one, I had a blue, but it's really turning out nice here with the white. I think it shows up better. So if you can grab a white one, you might get more bold or vivid colors. Anytime you can repurpose and reuse materials, that's a great thing. So there we go. Kind of looks like candy corn. So we're going to just put these off to the side. These three little guys are going to dry. And then let's go ahead and clean off the brush. And we'll start with the next three.
Another great tool to use um, if you do not have a paintbrush at home, you could always use cotton swabs. And the nice thing about those is very easy cleanup. When you're all done, you can just throw it away. Okay, one more. This could be a great uh, time to also make this a learning opportunity if you're doing this with your child or grandchild. Uh, maybe do a little reading on butterflies and different species and then um, paint an actual like a monarch or, and learn about the different species. So there we go. We have all 12 of our butterflies painted. And once they've dried, we'll go ahead and attach the pipe cleaners and get them attached to the garland and they'll be ready to go. Just, I'll just stop it. Stop it. Play. Okay, so once you're butterflies have dried. Now we're ready to go ahead and attach the butterfly bodies, aka pipe cleaners. So remember I cut them in half to begin the project. So I'm just going to take it and wrap it right around the center. And be careful in doing so. Just figure out which end I want to be the head. Okay, and then just kind of twist it around the top. And those are your antennas. So you can curl them at the end if you like. Gives it a nice little butterfly effect. And I will do that with the rest here. And again, if they're not totally even, that's okay. Bend at the top. Last one. Okay, and the string that I chose to use was a twine. It's pretty thin. Um, I'm going to just take the one end of the string and put it behind. Make sure I go underneath the pipe cleaner and just kind of thread it, each one. And I wanted to make sure that the antennas were on top, so as you thread it through, but it's okay. Uh, some of your butterflies could be upside down. Makes them more whimsical look. You could put these in some type of pattern, you know, maybe your blue and purple, then next your pink and green, and so on and so forth. Okay. 
So this is also a great kind of fine motor skills. So you're learning to thread using those fingers to pull behind and then flip it over and there you have it your butterfly garland these are great you can hang them in the window maybe across the bedpost or even use them for a birthday celebration